I'm thirsty. Oh man, there's no more water. I know. I'll make my own. Alright, how to make water. 2HO H2O Nah. HO2. Alright, I got this. I got this. Let's see. Where do I keep the O2? Oh, uh, the freezer. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. And then, how do, uh. mm, all right, now how do I do this? O2 and the H. Mm-mm-mm, some good old-fashioned H-O-2. Oh, hey, Brian, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Nick. I'm just drinking some good old-fashioned H-O-2. Wait, don't you mean H-2-O? No, silly. Take that as a no. So as a, yeah, you know. But then she was all like, eh. "Here's your water, sir." Oh, thank you. So as I was saying, you must be full of beryllium, gold, and thiamine, because you are B E A U T I full. Oh, sir, stop. I'm on the phone. This is a solid. This is a liquid. And this is a gas. Where'd the gas go? You lost it? No, I Oh, the gas is around. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. H2 positive. Oh, negative. Hey Brian, 10 bucks says I could turn this piece of coal into a diamond. That's impossible. You're on. Alrighty then. That's impossible. You have to apply extreme pressure and heat. What do you think I'm doing? It's not gonna work. <laughs> See right there? That's a perfect example of not what not to do with heated equipment. Now let's take a look at the right way to do it. And that's the right way to handle heated equipment. Changa, some bread, guacamole, hot Cheetos, spaghetti, um, I think I had ice cream. 
Ooh, cake, cheesecake, and some peas. Well, that sounds about your normal dent, your normal food habits, but I don't remember buying any peas. Yeah, you know, peas, like, there was this big, giant one that was making some weird noises. It was glowing, so I was like, mmm, this looks good, so I just ate it. Where did you get that pea you're talking about? Your lab, man. That's where I get all my weird food. Oh, no. What? That was a ball of uranium, not a pea. Uranium. Oh! Where are you? Don't. Draw!